Hey everybody, how's it going? Let's do a quick tip on using the pipe tool in Fusion 360 to do custom pipes on a couple of different planes, on a couple of different axes, um, and using whatever freaky design uh, you feel like you need. Let's go over here and start a new drawing. We're going to do this quick lickety split. Uh, so we got a new drawing. So let's create a uh, cylinder on this bottom floor plane here. Uh, I'm going to go at 50. And I'm going to make them 50 tall. And then I'm going to do another one. Same bottom plane. And I'm going to do them over here at 25 wide and 50 tall. And then I'm going to do a quick little construction plane. And I'm going to bring them up off that floor. And I'm going to go about halfway. So 25. Because I know my cylinders are 50. So I'm going to do um, a pipe right in the middle of these guys. So let's hit OK. And then we're going to do a new sketch. So new sketch button. Let's pick that new construction plane that we just made. And then let's throw in. I'm just going to do some regular straight lines here. And we're going to just do something wackadoodle like that. Now, if you leave these hard corners in, um, the pipe's going to get a little um, crazy on you. So we're going to use the fillet tool. So you, while you're still in your sketch mode, you just hit fillet, and you come down here and you pick that line and that line, and it fillets that corner and that corner and that corner and that corner and that corner. So now we've got a nice smooth path for the pipe to follow to connect these two shapes. So we'll finish that sketch. And now we'll just go here to create a uh, pipe. And here it is asking me for what my path is that I want to create the pipe on. So we're just going to pick that line we just drew. <clears throat> you can see here the distance is 1. So you're doing 100% of the line you just drew. You can do a circle, square, triangle type of pipe. Uh, you can do a section size of whatever you like. That is the, the width of your pipe. So I'm just going to leave that at 10. You could say make the pipe hollow if you like. And your section thickness is basically the wall thickness. So if we just call that a one millimeter wall. As you can see the wall here is one millimeter. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and make this a new body just for now. So that way that lets us move it around and do what we want to do with it. So OK. So now you can see I'll have three bodies here. Come on. So I've got uh, body one, body two, and then our pipe. So now if we went in and do another pipe, let's call it on this other one. We go do a new sketch, and we'll do it on this um, vertical plane here. And why don't we do a um, an arc? So we'll pick an arc, do a three-point arc, and we'll do it here to here. And we'll just bring this guy up like that. We'll go ahead and finish that sketch. And then let's do a pipe. And same thing. This time we're going to go ahead and make this a circle. We'll leave his section size. Actually, we'll change his section size to 12 just to be cool. Um, and again, we'll do the um, new body. And we'll leave him hollow and hit OK. So now you've got a couple of shapes, a couple of weird custom pipes. Um, and now if you wanted to merge these or if you actually wanted to, because if we hide... You can see here, right, our cylinders are still full shapes. Nothing's really happened just because we stuck that pipe halfway in them. So if we want to merge those or actually cut the pipe shapes uh, where they intersect out of the body, that's easy to do. So we'll go to the Combine tool, and we're going to combine our target body here, which is our cylinder, and our tool body here is our pipe. And here we're going to say we're going to cut, but we're going to keep the tool. And that means that you're going to keep that pipe once you've completed this operation. So OK. So you can see it doesn't look like anything really changed. But if you go back and you hide your body, now you can see that you've got a cutout because that was a hollow pipe that you've now got a cutout there. Uh, but you can see it only did one of the cylinders because the other guy is you can do uh, one body, one target body, and one tool at a time. So why don't we bring it back, we'll do the combine again, we'll pick our target body, that cylinder, and our tool body, the pipe again, and we'll cut, and we'll say keep tool, okay? And so now if we hide body four, now you can see it's both cut out. So there you go, that's a quick tip. Uh, you can kind of do whatever you want. Um, 
but yeah, if you're playing around, if you're looking to model something cool or do whatever, that's a it's a it's a great little great little uh, feature that Fusion has built into it. So there you go. Um, sorry for the quick one. It's late and I'm trying to be quiet. So uh, no video tonight. Just a stupid microphone on my head. So anyway, have a good one.